Welcome back. <laughs> All right, huh? Yeah. The Atlantic insists you're scary if you say the Hail Mary. It's the left's latest smear, saying rosaries are something to fear. A writer for the Atlantic actually compares the Catholic rosary to the AR-15. You know, which might explain all the drive-by praying that's plaguing our major cities. <laughs> Officer, I was such, just hit with a whatever. Why am I chasing this joke? Quote, just as the AR-15 rifle has become a sacred object for Christian nationalists in general, the rosary has acquired a militaristic meaning. On this extremist fringe, rosary beads have been woven into a conspiratorial politics and absolutist gun culture. Wow, sounds like fun. <laughs> Daniel Panton talks about a, quote, Catholic cyber militia who use rosary as weapons memes. Not memes, you say? Oh, I hate getting shot at with memes. And apparently there's a store that sells replicas of combat rosaries used by American troops during World War I. You know, but maybe this writer's editor could have informed this idiot that they're combat rosaries in the sense they were for soldiers in combat, not for use in combat. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, you could poke someone's eye out up close, but it would be easier to use your finger. So now rosary beads used for centuries in prayer are a symbol of far-right violent extremism. Soon they'll be comparing nuns to terrorist parents at school board meetings. And what's next? Comparing holy water to moonshine, Mother Mary to Eva Braun, the crucifix to the swastika. But we know rosaries don't make good weapons. Otherwise, Biden would have left billions of them in Afghanistan. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Shalou, as a devout atheist, how does this make you feel? <laughs> No, Greg, you know I, I pray the rosary, and it is the whole... He, pay, he play, you know what, what's not comforting? He prays the rosary when we're landing in a plane. <laughs> he was behind me. You were behind me doing the rosary while we were landing. That's not comforting. Uh, did we land safely, Greg? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> But I so did you pee should myself. appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but yes, it's always been a weapon. The rosary is a weapon. We've always referred to it that way. It's a, it is a weapon of prayer. Mm. And when Mary came down to those children in, uh, in Portugal, as you know, Greg, she told those children to use the rosary as a weapon, to pray to end World War I. And Christians, Catholics uh, have always... Weaponry is all through many different prayers. Mm. You probably in Mass this Sunday, you probably recited St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle mm. because we are. We are against the wickedness and snares of the devil. There we God go. We rebuke him. We humbly pray. I remember I was Catholic wow. for a while. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you still are, Kat. <laughs> you still That's are. That's no Mary Tyler Moore <laughs> song. No, I heard that for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> So anyway, this is weird. This is like that, I called it the Target Expansion of Demonization, or TED. I coined this, that they try to, make, they try to uh, uh, amplify the amount of evilness by all of these. Like last week, we did it about flags, right? The um, Betsy Ross flag was considered terrorist. Right. Now it's rosaries. What Isn't it amazing how they always say AR-15s are so bad, and we can't have AR-15s even though we have the Second Amendment, but now they want to give AR-15s to the IRS? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh, so the rosary is a weapon, and, and uh, when my father was an inmate, uh, an incarcerated person, this is a true story. Yeah. They took his, uh, his, his rosary away because, I'm serious, because apparently they didn't want him killing again. Yeah. But what he said to me was, if, if they don't like my rosary beads, wait until they see my rosary shank. Because we, we all went to Catholic school as well, and, and that's a, anything's a weapon if you're creative enough. Yeah. So you, was your dad in prison for murder? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't. No. Should, we, should we go into this more? No. No. no, there's murderers in the family. He ain't one of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm <good>. serious. <clears throat> <laughs> you, you don't get this information on other shows. No. All right, Andy, you know what pisses me off about this? You know who does rosaries? Little old ladies waiting for the bus. Little old ladies on this. My mother did rosaries all the time. This is, I find it so disgusting that this is something that, like, people, you're not, nobody gets hurt by your rosary. But somehow it's, it's evil. 
some of my favorite parents do rosary. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very it's offensive. But you know what worries me is how fast it changes. Like remember the the kneel down protests yeah. in football when they started. It seems like five minutes later, the pro everybody was protesting. The, the exception was the one who wouldn't kneel. Right? right. So we we poked fun at this. But, you know, Rush Limbaugh used to point out that the stuff that we made fun of 20 years ago is now mandatory. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all well and good to to laugh it off because humor is a good tonic for that. But, you know, they're on offense. Yeah. Way to bring us down, Andy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have a rosary for sorrowful mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Last word to you, Kat. Uh, as an ex-nun. Um... <laughs> I basically was, yeah. not by choice, just like my mom's rules. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you weren't even allowed to, like, watch TV and stuff, huh? Yeah, like, some, I, I could watch EWTN. No, I could watch some stuff. Um, I do know the rest of that prayer, and I will know it for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, yeah, it is a weapon against Satan, right? So if yeah. you're not the devil, then you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Mm -hmm. The devil's not watching, though, because there's primaries tonight. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Greg, it's not just little old ladies. Men pray the rosary. Ah! Yeah. Look at you. Real men. Oh, real men. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, Tom. Coming up, should you take a victory lap if your diet's crap? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.